A set of exam scores are approximately normally distributed with a mean of 72 and a standard deviation of 7. We're asked to use the empirical rule to determine the area of the shaded regions shown below. We know from the empirical rule approximately 68% of the data falls plus or minus 1 standard deviations from the mean, which means in our case approximately 68% of the test scores fall between 65 and 79. And due to the symmetry of the bell curve, approximately half of that percent would have to fall between 65 and 72, and half between 72 and 79. And since 68% divided by 2 is equal to 34%, we know approximately 34% of the test scores fall between 65 and 72, and approximately 34% fall between 72 and 79. Determining the percentages between standard deviations above and below the mean can be helpful when solving these types of problems. Next, we also know approximately 95% of the data falls plus or minus two standard deviations from the mean, which in our case would be between 58 and 86, where again half of the percent would be between 58 and 72, and half would be between 72 and 86. And since 95% divided by 2 is equal to 47.5%, approximately 47.5% of the test scores fall between 58 and 72, and approximately 47.5% of the test scores fall between 72 and 86. But notice how we already have 34% here, which means if we subtract 34%, from 47.5%, we can determine the percent between 79 and 86. And 47.5% minus 34% is equal to 13.5%. And therefore, approximately 13.5% of the test scores fall between 79 and 86. Which means the area of the shaded region as a percentage is 34% plus 34% plus 13.5%, which is equal to 81.5%. So we are asked to give the area as a percentage, so we enter 81.5, but often the area is expressed as a decimal. 81.5% is also equal to 0 0.815. For the second example, notice how 58 is two standard deviations below the mean, and we know from the empirical rule approximately 95% of the data falls plus or minus two standard deviations from the mean, which in our case would be between 58 and 86, where again half of the percent is between 58 and 72, and half is between 72 and 86. And since 95% divided by two is equal to 47.5%, we know approximately 47.5% of the test scores must be between 58 and 72, and therefore the answer is 47.5%, which is a decimal is 0 0.475. So when doing these types of problems, it can be helpful to be aware of the percentages of the data between the standard deviations above and below the mean, as shown in this graph here. So I'll leave you with a larger image of this graph, so if you need to, you can copy it into your notes. I hope you found this helpful.